Hello everyone, my name is Jimmy and welcome to The Last Lap. In today's video we have a lot of off-season news regarding some uh, drivers in the truck series, Xfinity series, where they're going, some sponsorships were announced for Kyle Busch, so we have a lot to hop into, but before we go go ahead and get into the video, I uh, just want to remind you guys to hit that like button and subscribe button, We'd greatly appreciate it if you would do so. The support over the past few weeks has been awesome, we thank you guys for that so much, uh, just Make sure you keep it up, because, you know, we love, we love making these videos, not specifically for the likes and the views and the comments, but it motivates us to do it more. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys do that for us. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the episode. Matthew, my friend and co-host, is joining me as always, and got a lot to cover. Uh, this is probably the last video before Christmas, so Matthew, how are you feeling as we slowly but surely enter the holiday season? Well, you know, I'm already in the hol holiday spirit. I mean, we're getting closer to Christmas every day, so what, 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 I'm ready for Christmas, ready for um, New Year's, and um, yeah, I'm ready to start off a new year of NASCAR racing <laughs> next year. Yeah, I'm, we're very excited, just a few months away from Speed Weeks, or, well not Speed Weeks in Daytona, more like The Clash in LA, um, but let's go ahead and hop into some of this news that has come out over the past few weeks. Uh, the thing that came out just recently is Haley Deegan. She will drive for Thor Sport Racing next season in the number 13 truck. Uh, Thor Sport in general switched from Toyota to Ford. They've been back and forth between the two manufacturers for quite a few years. They were Ford for a long time. Then they switched to Toyota, back to Ford, back to Toyota, back to Ford again. Uh, so this is a great opportunity for her. There was a lot of stuff swirling around about her possibly going to the Xfinity series with the Del or with the 07 car. That didn't come through. Something about Stuart Haas came up that she might be able to do Xfinity over there. That didn't end up going to plan. So I think this is the next best op next best option for her to switch over to Thor Sport, a team that has been around for a very long time, very competitive team. They've won, I think, two of the last four championships. Uh, there's always at least one or two Thor Sport trucks in the final four. So the expectations for her are going to be kind of high, honestly. Uh, in my opinion, my expectations for her would be to at least make the playoffs. I don't know about win, but at least make her way into the playoffs based on points. I think that's that's my expectation for her next season, driving for Thor Sport. Uh, so we'll have to see how she does. I hope that she does well. She uh, Obviously in the K&N series, she got a win there. And then in ARCA, she struggled. And in the truck series so far, through two seasons, she has, I think, three top tens. So not the best start for her in the truck series, but hopefully a new start for her over at Thor Sport, a championship contending team, will give her a little bit more confidence, and she'll have some better equipment to hopefully be able to run up in the top ten, top five, maybe even get a win. But I'm not going to push a win for expectations, just making the playoffs. That's what I think she should be able to do next season. Uh, also... In the truck series, Roger Carruth will drive the number 24 truck for GMS. And Christian Eckes, he will be in the number 19 for McCannily Hilgerman Racing. The truck that David... David Krause? Daniel Krause? Daniel Krause. He drove. Derek um, Krause. So, Derek Krause. Close enough. Krause is his last name. I should have just said that. Um, but yeah, Christian Eckes, he'll be taking over that number 19 truck. And... Uh, heading to the Xfinity series, John Hunter Nemechek and Sammy Smith, those will be the two JGR full-time cars in the Xfinity series next season. We Everybody kind of saw this coming, it was just a matter of time before they announced it, with Chandler Smith obviously going to college racing, and with two spots available, John Hunter Nemechek was pretty much a 100% lock. Uh, the other one was a little bit concerning, like nobody didn't Sammy Smith was the best possible choice. Let's just say it that way. So those will be the two guys with JGR next season in Xfinity. And uh, I'm going to save the Cobbish news for last. So uh, ESPN, it was announced that they are going to be covering the SRX series next year over the summer. And it's going to be Thursday Night Thunder. So they're bringing that back. That was a really popular thing back in, I think, I don't know, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. I, rem I remember, you know, Jeff Gordon talking about it, a few other drivers talking about it too. So really cool that... ESPN is coming back, not to NASCAR, but coming almost back to NASCAR. And they're covering SRX. They're bringing back that tradition of Thursday Night Thunder. Uh, so will they come back to NASCAR? Will they be part of the TV deal? Possibly. You know, if they're coming, if they want to try SRX, that might mean that they're interested in coming back to NASCAR in 2025 when the new TV deal comes out. Um, so, yeah, great, 
to see ESPN back. I hope they bring Alan Beswick over with ESPN because he's like, I think he's arguably the best, re not reporter, best play-by-play, -play, you know, announcer of all. Of, like, he's one of the best in racing. So I hope they bring him over there because he did really good last year with CBS. So hopefully he goes to ESPN with them. But the final piece of news is regarding Mr. Kyle Busch. Sorry if you guys hear something in the background. My steering wheel just turned on. So sorry about that. Um, but Kyle Busch, his sponsors were finally announced. Uh, they're going to be BetMGM, 3G, Lenovo, Ausco Uniforms, and Cheddars. Those were the five that were announced the other day. And paint schemes were also announced, or not announced, shown for the Cheddars car and the Ausco Uniforms car. The Cheddars car, mostly black and orange with some white on there. The Ausco Uniforms, mostly green and black with some white on there as well. And uh, the number design actually changed for Kyle Busch as well. From Tyler Reddick's number eight, it was a, it's a new design for Kyle Busch and the number eight. I really like it. It's a great design, a good restart for him. So those were his new sponsors that were announced. I'm sure there'll be a few more that pop up along the season, but good to know that they finally have those sponsors announced. And there was also a sneak peek of news today that you showed me that Jimmy Johnson might be interested in driving for Kyle Busch for a race or two next season in the truck series. So they're both Chevy teams. So, you know, Kyle Busch, Jimmy Johnson, they might link together and get Jimmy a few truck starts next season, which would be pretty cool as well. So lots of stuff going good for Kyle Busch over RCR. And, you know, hopefully the rest of his sponsors, you know, he should have full sponsorship for the season. So uh, glad they finally got that behind them. And now they can focus on the racetrack and racing and all that stuff. So that is all the news that has come out over the past few weeks. It's a lot, but we love breaking it down, talking to you guys all about it. So Matthew, what do you got to say about all this news that's come out over the past few weeks? That is a lot of news right there. Um, I mean, that's the all season. It seems like every week we're going to have a a big news bomb that comes off comes out to the public but um starting off with the Haley Deegan news going to Thor Thor Sport this year or I mean I should say next year it's going to be the most important season of Haley Deegan's career right here because she is getting one of the best trucks that you can get in the truck series I know there's Cowboys Motorsports I know there's um, Tricon Garage. We don't know how good that team's gonna be. It was formerly DGR, but with the Toyota support, I'm, I'm supposing they'll be basically like KBM last year. But uh, but Full Thor Sport is one of the best teams in the Truck Series. This is gonna be the best equipment that she has ever gotten in her career, and the expectation I have. It's at least make the playoffs. Look, I don't expect her to win five races next year. I just want her to make the playoffs. I just want her to get more top tens, a top five at least. Show improvement. I could, look, we've, we've come up with a lot of excuses. G, DGR was not the best equipment. Um, the only people that were good in that equipment were basically Ryan Priest and Todd Gillen. And then she went to her Xfinity AP, like, oh, look, and she's better in that car than the truck series. Look, she's got a lot of these excuses. There's no excuse now. She's in the best equipment you can get in the truck series. She's got to perform. She's got to show up. So I hope that she does well next season. I, I mean, I, I don't want to see her fail, of course. I hope she actually blows my expectations here and actually, you know, maybe wins. But, um, uh, I, my expectation, just make the playoffs and go from there. You know, surprise us if you win the playoffs. But, um, yeah, um, ho hoping all the best of luck for her next season. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Raja Karuf going to uh, GMS. Um, this this will be an amazing opportunity for him. I see a lot of talent in this kid. I think this kid is going to be uh, a star at one day. I know he didn't win an Arca race last year, but he was definitely close to winning at least a few of those. Um, I'm still really salty that Kyle Busch just let Raja Carruth and Nick Sanchez just walk to other teams. 
I mean, they're both Chevy drivers. That would have been the perfect two drivers to have in your stable. And he they blew the bag on that one. I don't know how, but but anyways, I I'm happy for Roger Carew for this opportunity and I'm looking forward to see how he does next next season in the trucks. I think it will be a slow start for him, you know, getting used to the truck series, but I think in the second half he'll I think he'll turn on the Jets. Um okay. And as for Joe Gibbs Racing with their Xfinity lineup, absolutely no shock whatsoever. These are the two best guys he can get in those Xfinity cars. John Nemechek and Sammy Smith. I didn't think both of these guys are going to be championship contenders. Even Sammy Smith. He hasn't really impressed me, especially this past season. I think he will definitely win next year, and I think he'll be a contender next year for the title. I don't think Cole Custer is the only one looking for that championship now. I think there's more competition now with John Hunter Nemechek. I think John Hunter Nemechek is definitely a top two contender for that title next year. So, I think JGR is um, laying out the ground here for when Martin Shurex eventually retires and eventually when Denny Hamlin retires. They're going to have John Hunter Nemechek and Sammy Smith probably in, in those cars, those two cars one day. That, that's my guess so looking forward to seeing how those two run next year as for ESPN getting the XRX I believe this is a sign that there's been rumor for a while now that ESPN's in talks with NASCAR here and ESPN has been getting involved in motorsports a lot lately like Formula 1 the big example and now the XRX they could potentially get NASCAR here and I think this is how it should go for the next TV deal now. I think Fox should get the first half. I believe the summertime stretch, it should be like how it was back in the day with TNT getting the summertime, but NBC gets that summertime coverage. And then the fall time, during the playoffs basically, ESPN gets the remaining races in my opinion because, of course, it, towards the end of the season, football is on. And NBC has Sunday Night Football, and I feel like that does hurt NASCAR's ratings because of Sunday Night Football, basically. So, and ESPN doesn't have them football on Sunday. They have Monday Night Football, but um, I know there'll probably be some competition. Like, who, which one should get ABC races? Which one should get ESPN races? Formula One, NASCAR. Here's here's the draw, in my opinion. Whoever gets the, whoever's having the most U.S. rating, TV ratings, gets ABC races. And so far, NASCAR's done that. They still be F1 in the U.S. ratings, despite F1 continuing to get popular every year. But NASCAR's still beating them. So NASCAR should get most of the ABC races, if that comes true. And let's see. Was there... Oh, yeah, of course. Why can I forget the the, annou the big announcement that happened last week? Um it, it, I mean, that number eight design, I, I dig it. I mean, that is basically Kyle Busch style right there, the KFB style. I didn't, I mean, comparing that to the eight car, the eight number font before, it, I mean, the, the one before kind of looks weird now compared to this new one. The new one just looks better, in my opinion. Of course, I still would rather have the classic RCR number eight, the DEI font. But of course, you know, a certain someone, it's too sensitive to let that happen. But that's a conversation for another day. But I'm digging into this new A font. As for the sponsors, welcome aboard to the K to Rowdy Nation. Um, I'm getting all my gear set up. Hopefully, Christmas time, be getting all the gear that I need for uh, Daytona 500 in February when I'm there. And looking forward to repping all my new sponsors. I'm um, not all my, all, all his new sponsors. And it's we're gonna have a fun. It's gonna be a fun season to watch here. Looking forward to rep all the new colors. Yeah, it's gonna be an exciting year for you, supporting your driver and his new sponsors, his new team, all that stuff. Um, I was gonna say something about Haley Deegan. I think uh, you did bring up a good point about this being. I think it's sort of like, you know, her final opportunity to prove herself whether she's got it or not. I mean, this is the best equipment she could get in. Honestly, I think Thor Sport might be the championship team to beat next year because Kyle Busch Motorsports, you know, with them going to Chevrolet, 
and the two drivers they have. You, I just don't know how well those drivers are going to do. Where at Thor Sport, you have Matt Craft and Ben Rhodes, two championship truck series drivers uh, who are pretty consistent. That team has been pretty consistent. So I think Thor Sport might be the team to beat I in mean, general next year. With Haley from Dean. Motorsports, of course, that just won the championship. Yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, th I mean, but Thor Sport, they're still going to be championship threats, arguably the championship threat. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I was going to say something about John Hernimashek, but you brought up a good point that he's probably going to replace Denny Hamlin or Martin Truex. I was going to say that maybe he, you know, he should stay in the Xfinity series for a while, just until something in Jugged Racing opens up. It might not be for a few years, maybe, but I think he should stay right there in the Xfinity series until something really good pops up, because I wouldn't want him going back to the Cup series racing for like a mediocre team and he didn't just restart that all over again um yeah that's gonna wrap it up well do you have any other closing thoughts before we go ahead and finish this video up uh yes i do actually I, w I would like to embarrass myself right now as i was totally wrong about 3g not going with tyler we're going to tyler reddick here it ended up same with rcr i was wrong but guess what? I'm not going to be a little scaredy cat about it. I will still get gear of it because that's what Rowdy Nation does. I'm going to have the shirt and everything when that comes out. I'm not going to be a scaredy cat. I'm like a certain someone across the table here that is afraid to go to a Hooters that crawl down the street. You know, you and I should go to Hooters next week, man. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. You can support your driver's three cheese sponsor, and I'll chill. I'll chill with my Napa. Uh, you're not gonna and... see me trying out three cheese anytime soon. Let's let's don't. Yeah. We're not going that far here. No. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, maybe you could try Cheddar's. You know, if if we try Cheddar's, we'll try Hooters. Maybe I don't, I don't know. We'll, you know, we'll have some fun with it, but. Um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts about all the Cobbler sponsors, all the new sponsors. What do you guys think about Haley Deegan? You think she'll do good next year? John Hernimacek, Sammy Smith. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We appreciate your support. And also, make sure you guys check our uh, Instagram because we post a lot of you know iRacing highlights and our league. We post the points and results and all that stuff over there. So make sure you check out our Instagram for all kinds of off-season fun that we're doing. But until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video.